But as you've studied history, and I know this is something you love, is just looking at historical movements, trying to understand how you create change. I mean, what, what are the ways change happens mm. in your estimation now, if it's not taking to the streets? Yeah, I mean, I think one of the core messages that I'm trying to get across is I'm not saying don't protest. I think what I'm trying to say is we need to reconceive what protest is. Protest, if you look at it historically, what it is is it's really a behavior that's culturally defined. People have protested differently throughout human history. I mean, during the American Revolution, you know, they tarred and feathered people or pulled down their houses or during the Civil Rights era, we marched. And I think now we've reached a point where the current repertoire of our tactics, they're broken. And the reason why they're broken, if you kind of look at why they're broken, is because the story underlying why we protest is false. And that basic story has something to do with that it's kind of a mystical, magical thinking. It has something to do with if you can get large numbers of people in the streets, they manifest some sort of greater power over their democracy, which makes perfect sense in a certain way mm -hmm. because if you can get so many people into the streets saying something, of course their leaders should have to listen to them, but it's not true. It's really not true. So we have, to, we have to think about, well, how do the people manifest a greater power over their governments? And that gets into these questions of sovereignty. It gets into these other issues. And I think that that's really the direction we need to go, is that we can no longer rely on the fact that we are able to get millions of people into the streets. We act as activists as if that's extremely difficult, but recent years have shown us since Occupy Wall Street, it's actually very easy for us now. We can get women to march, scientists to march. We can get Black Lives Matter to march. We have to kind of go differently, a little bit deeper. I think the path forward is very hard, but I think that it's going to be fundamentally more rewarding.